In today's video, gents, seven style tips that you can steal from the Game of Thrones. Lesson number one from Jamie Lannister, learn to love your colors. When we look at the Kingslayer, what do we see? We see a guy that can wear his house colors very well. Now he's got some pretty nice house colors, gold and red. All of us have certain colors that are going to work for our complexion. And another thing that House Lannister loves, gold. When we look at Jamie Lannister, what's he sporting? That gold hand. What a great accessory. Guys, now I'm not saying go out and get a gold hand, but do you like silver? Do you like platinum? Do you like bronze? Do you like gold? Do you like rose gold? Find something that works with your natural complexion. For me, I'm more of a silver kind of guy. I'm going to go for steel. I'm going to go for white gold, but find a way to bring it into an accessory. So even sunglasses, yes, you can actually go with silver silver or gold on there depending on your complexion with your skin. Find what works for you. Bring it into your accessories. Have fun with it. It's going to really level up your style. And gents, if you're just getting started, don't overdo it. Less is more. As Viserys Targaryen learned, there is such a thing as too much gold. Our next style lesson comes from Sir Bronn of the Blackwater. Know when to follow the rules and then know when to break them. Now, the character Bronn starts off as a mercenary, is able to rise to knighthood, and eventually becomes one of the trusted swords of House Lannister. How does this happen? Bronn was able to make a leap. He was able to succeed because in Tyrion Lannister's trial by combat, he understood that the knight he was having to fight here was actually going to beat him if he followed the rules. So, he threw the whole chivalry thing out the window and said, I'm going to fight this guy dirty. That's exactly what he did, and he was able to win and move up in society. Now, I'm not saying go out there and break a lot of laws, become unethical, but I am saying question authority. Ask about these rules, especially something that doesn't make sense or that's holding you back or that's hurting you and simply ask, why is this rule here? Why do we have this particular thing in the dress code? Why does the company say this? And all of a sudden, you may find there's not a good reason. It's a legacy rule and you can get it changed or you may say, you know what? We need to break this because it's holding us back. It's holding us from fulfilling our potential. The next lesson, courtesy of Jor Mormont, is take care of your skin. Now, if you remember from the show, so Jor, he gets exiled and he fights his way back. He goes through gladiatorial battles. He gets turned into a slave. This guy is able to capture a Lannister. And in all of this, he makes his way back to Daenerys and then has to exile himself because he's got grayscale. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, Tish Hanley here is going to fix grayscale, but it is a great system. But guys, it could be something as simple as taking this propane. Yes, there's propane in this and throwing this out and instead using a shaving cream that's better for your skin. This next lesson from Tyrion Lannister, develop your wit, develop your sense of humor. It can get you out of a lot of trouble. Now, what I love about Tyrion Lannister is this is a guy that got the short end of the stick genetically. However, he's been able to flip it and use his mind to his advantage. He's really sharpened the sword here. And I don't know what your situation is when it comes to money, when it comes to health, when it comes to your body. But here's an example of someone that could have said, you know what? I'm going to give up. I'm just going to blame it on others and I'm going to lay down and die or he actually took steps and they were tough that he actually was able to transform his life and focus in on developing what he could. Tyrion's able to roll with the punches. When he's insulted, he doesn't just react. He actually looks at that, turns it around and kind of like jujitsu throws it back at the person and they don't even know that they're being insulted. The lesson that we can learn from Tyrion is that all of us have weaknesses in our appearance and what you want to do is shore up your strengths in other parts of your personality. Next up, we've got Own Your Imperfections from Sander Clegane. Now, the Hound has a few imperfections, one of them being burns all over his face that make him look like a ham hock, which I'm not sure is the best description as the guy really likes chicken. In any case, the scars on his face, he owns them. He realizes, okay, I can't hide from the world. This is something that people are going to stare at me and I'm just going to get used to it and I'm going to move forward. Here's the deal. All of us have things we're self-conscious about. Could be the size of your ears, size of your nose. You could wake up, you've got a pimple right here. You've got a presentation you're going to give that day and you're concerned that people are going to make fun of you. They're, everyone's going to talk about it. Here's the thing is that people are selfish. They're thinking about themselves. And when you understand that, that most people don't notice this imperfection that you're worried about, that you're sweating about, all of a sudden you can pull that stress off and you can focus in on what really matters. I mean, come on. When we finally have Clegane Bowl 2, we finish what we started in season one and you've got the hound cutting the mountain right in half. Do you think Sanders going to be worried about how his face looks? No. He may want to go get some more chicken, but his face, he's not going to worry about it. The next lesson from Sir Davos Seaworthy is always have 
good manners. I love this character because he always tells the truth. He always says what needs to be said, but he does it in a way that he doesn't really offend anybody. Yes, people get upset with him, but they respect the fact that he said what needed to be said. So whenever we've got Daenerys and she calls Lord Snow when he sh she should be addressed as King Snow, he interrupts. He's very polite, but he points out this small discrepancy. You need to, you know, he's not a lord. He is a king of the north. So understand manners and etiquette. Now remember the difference. Etiquette, these are the rules that society puts forth. This is really geographic. With manners, they are the same around the world. And that is really treat people the way you would want to be treated. So sometimes you're going to break rules of etiquette to have good manners. And this is simply opening doors. This is waiting for other people to be seated before you eat your food. Pay attention to these things, learn them because they can serve you and they can keep you from losing your head. Not really losing your fingers though. Ask Davos about that. The next lesson, learn to love black from Jon Snow. Okay, I'm not saying that you got to take the black, but what I am saying is look at the way that black works. Black is a great color for men, any dark color. Maybe black's not your thing. Well, look at charcoal gray. Look at gray. Look at navy blue. Every man should have a dark colored suit. Now, I'm not saying you got to go get boiled, you know, wool and you've got to wear leather armor like they do on the wall, but I am saying that being able to understand the power of a dark suit, this can make them look more aggressive, stronger. So, leverage the color black. It's also going to slim you up, make you look taller. It's going to make you look great. And gents, if you want more on the style of Jon Snow, go check out this video. You want some more fun videos, guys? Check out this one. I've got Bruce Wayne versus Tony Stark. And if that's not enough, check out this video right here. I've got James Bond versus John Wick. All these videos, gents, I'm linking to down in the description in an awesome playlist. Go check them out.